Hello everyone. I want to welcome you, first of all, to my first class, the first installment of Discovering Myself, which is a class where we're going to do some spontaneous collage and some spontaneous writing to go along with it. Whoops, sorry. Because this is just a good way to get your creativity going and to get yourself uh, ready to move on to other creative things. Like, it's really good if you have a creative block and are trying to get past that. If you will do some of these spontaneous collages, they will really help you get those creative juices flowing and help you to get on about your little creative business. But first of all, I wanted to show you the front of my journal. This one is one, it's one of the composition notebooks that I decorated for myself. I just put some edging around it and uh, had collaged on an old paper doily and a couple of chipboard elements there and then put a journaling card in the middle that's got the name of the class and all. And then inside I put some scrapbook paper on the inside and then uh, back here I put a little pocket just for um, like if I happen to be somewhere with and have this with me if I came across some pictures I would like to save for my collage I put this little envelope in the back and I can also uh, carry um, pens or anything else I want to in there or pencils you know whatever to write with and then the back I also put a little bit of uh, scrapbook paper on the back of it also. So I got it all decorated up. And the first thing that I'm going to show you, I have already done several of these collages. That was my first one. I believe I've already shown you all these on the website and the writing that goes with them. But the way that I do mine, and you don't have to do it this way at all. It's just your preference and this is just the way that I started but for me it's easier to put my collage on the right side and then do my writing on the left hand side and if you want to put your collage on the left hand side and do your writing on the right that's perfectly fine there is no wrong way to do this and then you don't worry about if you're gonna make a pretty collage or a pretty picture or uh, write some masterpiece or something like that. That's not what this class is about. This goes along kind of with my expressive art facilitating that I do where we mostly want to just dig into your creativity and get it going and get it flourishing so that you can go on and maybe write that masterpiece or paint that that magnificent painting or make that really awesome creative work you've been wanting to to get to but these this is just like a creative exercise be a good way to put it but here's another one of my collages and what we're going to do today here's another one I did a little bit of writing on uh, it's it's one of my newer ones but what we're going to do today so I'm going to show you how I do it from start to finish so what I did was I got some magazines here and I'm going to flip through them. And I, some people tear their images out. I prefer to cut mine out. I'm just kind of weird. I don't, I'm not that crazy about the ragged edges sometimes. So when I'm working on the collages, a lot of times I will, I may tear a page out, but when I really get down to cutting out my image, I usually cut it out instead of, uh, of tearing it so there's one of them found this airplane and this lady on this ladder I kind of like that so I'm going to save that I might decide to use that let's see this is an old National Geographic so it's funny the uh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, I was from 1950 55 <laughs> so the pictures in it are are kind of funny because they're really old but I like that they look vintage I kind of like that so I'm going to cut that out and I like this one the main thing to do is just randomly go through your 
through your pictures and if something catches your eye pull it out don't put a lot of thought into it because it's you're gonna realize something that's really pretty neat after you get finished putting your collage together that doing it this way really allows your subconscious mind to kick in and to do the uh, oh that's nice I like that to do the choosing on your pictures so there's my images I'm going to use and I think what I'm going to start with is my airplane up here I kind of messed it up just a little bit but it will all work out fine before it's over when I pulled it out it kind of got a little bit close there but that's all right we'll just work around it like I said there's no wrong way to do this so that makes it lots easier it's a lot more stress-free I'm sorry I was running a little late on getting this collage done and getting this first class posted but I think most of you know I was in the hospital unfortunately again but I'm feeling a lot better and uh, got a pretty clean bill of health this time so that was good news I'm using my special glue mixture this is not all Elmer's glue that you see me using this is I've got it on my website it's a special mixture that I use and I love the way these tips work on these Elmer's glue bottles so that's why I keep my glue in there but this is this is actually a mixture of two or three different kinds of glue that I I'm, I really like and like I said the, the recipe for it is on my website L. Thackeson's un Mixed Media Uniques. So there's my plane, my airplane. And here's this picture that I really liked. Showing these people getting ready to leave on a trip. And your collages don't have to be all images they can also be words if you come across words or phrases that you like you can add those to it as a matter of fact there's a phrase there that I think I'm going to use it says get you off to a flying start I need that I need to be off to a flying start I like that image or that phrase so I'm going to add that here in a minute first I'm going to get my pictures put on I hope you can see all this okay actually all I'm doing is just gluing these down and then I'll show them to you when I get my page done bring this down here okay let's trash this one got one here where I a man is giving a little girl an apple. I like that one. A lot of people like their edges torn, but for some reason, I just have a thing. When I do collage, I usually trim mine up. I may end up covering up part of this, but that's okay. This is all about your subconscious and getting those creative juices flowing. So we'll just see how it turns out and go from there. I like this scene of this volcano erupting. I'm going to add that one too. Trim it down a little. I 
of these tips on these glue bottles make it where you can get just the right amount of glue on there without making it buckle a lot and I really like that I don't don't like for my paper to buckle very much and if you'll just it doesn't take much glue at all really to get these to glue down and the, the less glue that you can use the less your paper will warp One little strip here. Some people were asking me, they said, well, we don't have any magazines to get our images out of. A lot of the time, you can go to your local library, and they have a lot of magazines in there. They have like a section a lot of times where you can just go and sit and read their magazines but they change those magazines out every month and I'm not sure if they throw them away or what they do with them but I do know that they would probably be more than happy to donate some if they knew that you were doing some type of a project or a art project or something uh, because they have to change those magazines out every month and hospitals and doctor's offices and all places like that, they all change their magazines out fairly often, too. So, you can always check with them and um, see if they might be able to hook you up with some magazines. I get a lot in the mail because I've got a lot of subscriptions to different magazines. Glamour and Vogue and... All that kind of stuff. So I have plenty of fashion magazines. What I wish I had more of was like National Geographic. I've got Time Magazine. It's, it, they have a lot of good pictures in them. Okay. About got my thing finished here. Alright. That is my finished collage. And it probably doesn't make much sense just looking at it like, like it is right now. But it shows an airplane. And these people down here are waving by to some people going on a trip. There's this uh, volcano exploding. And there's this gentleman here handing this little girl an apple. And... Um, This is all symbolic. Uh, it's where my subconscious has basically picked out these images as I went through the magazines. And when I go to do my writing, these, these images will all start to pull together into some type of a, a descriptive meaning uh, for me. Like, it seems to me that what it's showing here is that I'm off to, off to a flying start where it says down here off to a flying start this shows movement and this shows movement this shows uh, movement in the fact that they're going on a trip here's someone on horses and in a car that shows movement and so it looks as though my subconscious is telling me that I'm in some form of a phase in my life where I'm getting ready to move into doing new things. And so what I will do now on this side of the paper after my page has dried and after I've looked at my collage for a little bit, I'll come over here and I'll write down everything that this collage has, has brought to my mind. But it will be centered around um, moving into new places in my life and taking on new things and learning new things. So this is just kind of a little little introduction and explanation as to how I go about my process when I do mine. And uh, that's that's again what my my collage for today looks like. And then I'll go over here and do my writing. So 
that that kind of should get you going and if you have any questions just email me I'm always here or give me a call or whatever and I will do my best to answer your questions but it's just that easy and remember there's no wrong way to do it uh, if you want to put your collage over here and right over here that's fine if you want to put your collage right in the middle and right around the edges that's fine it doesn't matter but this is just the way that I do it it's the way I'm comfortable with so I guess that's it for today it's not a very long video but it's very simple and very explanatory pretty self-explanatory so um, like I said if you have any questions just send me an email or we can discuss it on my website so thank you for watching and I'll have another video up for you soon bye bye